Welcome to Food Safety Together. I am Abir Al Jundi, and today I would like to talk about the microwave. Microwave is one of the great inventions. It can play a great role in the at the meal time. So it's really important to know what are the good procedures or good practices we need to follow to ensure that the food we are reheating or defrosting in the microwave is safe to eat. Uh, number one, we need to know how the microwave works. Uh, the microwave uh, produces uh, waves, uh, will be absorbed by the liquids, fat and uh, sugar in the food. That's why we will notice that while reheating the food will be, like the temperature of the food will be uneven. Some parts are really hot and others are still cold. So this uneven uh, temperature, it's cause of uh, the liquids. Uh, so how can we, let's say, avoid this uneven uh, uh, cooking or reheating? Uh, number one is to use the proper uh, material, the material of the container. We need to ensure that the container is microwavable. Uh, we need to check the microwave symbol at the bottom of the container. The best container to use is the glass, transparent uh, dish or a plate. Uh, number uh, two, we can use the uh, microwavable ceramic, we can use microwavable plastic. So we need always to check the symbol at the bottom of the uh, container. Uh, we need to avoid using aluminum foil, uh, uh, oven uh, metal uh, pads. Uh, we need to avoid the brown paper pa uh, bags, um, the foam we need also to avoid all these materials um it's not microwavable and it, we might have uh, like a leaching from the chemical to the food which is a chemical contamination which we need to avoid so number one is to choose the proper material to be used inside the microwave we need also to uh to microwave like um, gradually not to put too much food at the same time because if we have like a, a really deep or a big quantity of food it means that still there's some like parts of the food will not reach the proper temperature uh, so we need always to uh, put like even level of the food we put like small quantity keep a proper spaces uh, between the pieces if the food is pieces and uh, we need always to uh, stir the food rotate turn the pieces upside down to ensure that the temperature is even and we need also to cover the food uh, by a cling film or the cover of the uh, microwave cover of the same container and it's good to keep a space between the cover and the food this space will be very good to to have a steam the steam will really be good to make the temperature even for all food parts and to destroy of course the harmful bacteria uh, so it's good to keep a space between the cover and the food itself uh, once the food is reheated or cooked uh, it's good to keep it inside the microwave for a while maybe one two minutes uh, to ensure it's totally stable and there will be no boiling to avoid any uh, burning now for defrosting uh, while defrosting uh, it's safe, defrosting in the microwave is safe, but we, knew we need to follow also a proper uh, procedure to make sure that defrosting is totally safe and it will not, uh, let's say, enhance any bacterial growth or any contamination. Now, for defrosting in the microwave, number one, and the most important thing while defrosting, we need to use the food or cook the food immediately after defrosting. We cannot defrost the food in the microwave and put it back in the refrigerator or in the freezer. This is totally wrong. It might really um, cause uh, uh, a big number of bacteria, which will eventually lead to a food poisoning. So we need to use the microwave for defrosting if we are really in a hurry. Like we need really to finish the defrosting fast and cook it immediately. This is number one for defrosting. Number two is to remove the wrap or the cover from the, uh, the manufacturer, let's say, uh, wrapping. If we're talking about plastic or foam, it should be removed before defrosting to avoid any leaching from the chemicals to the food item. And then we need to keep it in our container, the microwavable one and proper cover. 
uh, and the same we need to stir rotate and turn the food upside down to ensure that the, also the temperature is even and remember we need always to cook the food immediately after defrosting by microwave uh, after all of this we need to maintain the, uh, the cleanliness of the microwave uh, clean it and sanitize it after each use and for deep cleaning there is a really nice um, and fast way either we can use the lemon or the baking soda uh, if we're using the lemon we need to use a half a half of half a cup of lemon juice to one cup of water or six tablespoons of baking soda to one cup of water and then we need to keep it in the glass container, the microwaveable one, and cover it because we need really to use the steam of the solution to melt uh, and loosen up the food residues on the surfaces. Uh, so it needs to boil. Uh, once it's finished, the boiling, uh, we need to keep the solution inside the microwave until it's cold completely to avoid any burning. So once it's cold, we can take it out and then it will be very easy just to clean the surfaces, um, rinse it properly and then wipe it, keep it dry for the next use. Uh, so it's really good to follow these, uh, let's say, good practices to ensure that the food we are um, reheating or defrosting inside the microwave is safe uh, to our health and it will not cause any harm. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye